One type of reaction that we're going to talk about are called double replacement reactions. We start with two ionic compounds in aqueous solution. That just means that we've dissolved them in water. Okay, so we're going to mix them together. And if you look, you're going to see that they switch partners. So you can see A and B together and C and D together. And when you're done, A and D and B and C are together. So what they do is they switch partners. That's the general idea of a double replacement reaction. When I put these things in solution in water, the ionic compounds break into their ions. For instance, if I take sodium chloride and potassium nitrate, what I have is sodium ion and chloride ion and potassium ion and nitrate ion. Okay? And what those ions are doing are floating around in solution. So these four ions float around in solution, and they'll only rearrange to form products if one of three things happens. One, water is formed. Okay, so if water is formed, the reaction happens. The second thing that can happen is that we make a gas, and you'll see some examples of this. And the third thing, the thing that happens most often, is a precipitate is formed. Okay. So, for instance, here's where I'm combining a couple solutions, and they're making precipitates. These are just pictures of precipitates, because they look cool. Well, how do I decide if a precipitate is going to form? Well, we look at what are called the solubility rules. There's a lot of solubility rules, and what we do is, instead of having you memorize, like, 50 of them, I ask you to, to know four of them. I call them the super solubility rules. If you know these four, you can figure out most things. Okay, <clears throat> the first one is that all nitrates are soluble. So any compound with nitrate in it <clears throat> is going to dissolve. All acids are soluble. All alkali metal compounds are soluble. Remember the alkali metals, those are your sodium ion, potassium ion, etc. The first group. And all compounds with ammonium ion are soluble. Okay. So those are the ones you're going to have to memorize, and if that seems horrible, watch what you don't have to memorize. All of these rules, okay? These are your solubility rules, and so you're not going to memorize them. Instead, I just want to make sure you know how to use them, okay? So for instance, if I want to know if PBI2 is soluble, what I find is I look for the anion. So I go down the list and I find iodides, okay? And then I read... All iodides are soluble except, oh, okay, so this is not soluble, so when this forms in a, a, a product, in a reaction, it's going to be a precipitate, okay, it's going to be a solid, okay. How about barium sulfate? So we always look for the anion, so we get on the list, okay, here are the sulfates, all soluble except, oh, so again, this one is going to be a precipitate or a solid. Okay. HgCl2. So let's find the chlorides. All right. All chlorides are soluble except okay, it's not on that list. So this is not going to be a precipitate, so it's going to be aqueous. It means it's going to break into its ions and I would have these ions floating around, okay, instead of seeing a solid. Okay, why don't you pause the video and try these two. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. When I suggest you pause the video, it's a good idea to go ahead and try to pause the video. Okay, so we're going to find phosphate, PO4, which is here. All phosphates are insoluble, so not soluble, except for 1A. Those are your alkali metals. The 1A, that's the first group, and this is an alkali metal. So this is actually soluble. Okay. Cr2S3, that's here. They're all insoluble except with alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, and ammonium. Well, chromium's not any of those, so this is a solid. Okay, so it's going to be important not to memorize these, but to know how to use them. So let's look, for example, at a, a reaction. This is a double replacement reaction. You always want to start by writing the ions below. Okay. So Na plus and Cl minus, and K plus 
and NO3 minus. Okay? And what they're going to do is rearrange. So the outside two will make a compound and the inside two will make a compound. So the outside two make NaNO3 and the inside two make KCl. Notice that you always put the positive one first. Okay? But if I look at my solubility rules, even my super solubility rules, that's an alkali metal and that's an alkali metal. So this is aqueous and this is aqueous. Okay? So if all four are aqueous, we say no reaction has occurred. Okay? What's happening instead is that all of these ions are just floating around in solution and they're not doing anything. But let's look at a reaction where something does happen. BaCl2 plus silver nitrate. So again, start by writing the ions below. Okay, don't try to take shortcuts or you'll run into trouble. Okay, so Ba2 plus and Cl minus, Ag plus and NO3 minus, inside two and outside two. Okay, so the outside two make Ba NO3 2, and we'll decide whether that's aqueous or a solid in a minute. And the inside two make AgCl. And okay, so what we need to do is look at our solubility rules. One of them says all nitrates are soluble, so that's aqueous. Okay, if you looked back at your solubility rules, it says all chlorides are soluble except one of them is silver, so this is actually a solid. So we form a precipitate when this reaction happens, so this reaction occurs. And we're done, all except the fact that we have to balance it, okay? So we're going to, we've got two chlorides, so I need a two and a two, and now I'm all set. So that's my reaction. So try another one, okay? Pb2 plus, NO3 minus, K plus, I minus. Inside two, outside two. So the outside two make PBI2, which if you check your solubility rules is a precipitate. And the inside two make KNO3. Right? Super solubility rules, all alkaline metals are soluble, all nitrates are soluble. This is aqueous. So we're all done except the balancing. Right? So we do need to go through and balance the equation. All right. If you're getting the hang of it, you might want to try this one by yourself, but it's a teeny bit different. So barium ion. All right. It's important to write the ions out so you get the charges right. Okay. H plus and NO3 minus. Inside two, outside two. Okay. It doesn't matter which order I write them in. So Ba NO3 two. All nitrates are soluble. What do H plus and OH minus make? Well, they make water. Okay? So the water is a liquid. So remember, one of the three things that has to happen for a reaction to occur is for water to form. So this reaction will occur. And again, you're going to have to go through and balance it. Okay? So the bariums are all set. I've got two nitrates, so I need a two here. Now I've got two, and two is four H's, so I need a two here. And now that's all balanced. Okay? Some of these reactions are going to produce things called phantoms. Okay? These are uh, compounds that get formed in solution, and they're called phantoms because they appear and then immediately decompose into something else. Okay? You're going to have to become familiar with these because when you see them, when you make H2CO3, it's really water okay and CO2 gas when you see H2SO3 it's really water and SO2 gas okay so it's always water and a gas this one's water and ammonia gas remember ammonia is NH3 so these are phantoms so let's see what happens when we see them in reactions Okay, so HCl and sodium carbonate, so H plus, Cl minus, Na plus, 
Cl3 2 minus inside 2, outside 2, the inside 2 make NaCl and the outside 2 make H2CO3 but that is going to immediately become water and CO2 Okay, so this reaction occurs because we make a gas and we make water Okay, uh, I think we should probably balance it, right? I think all we need is maybe a 2 here and a 2 here and we should be all set. Two examples left here and I suggest that you pause the video and try them yourself but if you're still confused you can watch but so hopefully you stop the video okay H plus and NO3 minus K plus and SO3 2 minus inside 2 outside 2 the outside 2 make H2 SO3 and the inside 2 make KNO3 but that's a phantom so it's really water and SO2 gas okay and I think we're gonna have to balance this one maybe with just a 2 here and then a 2 there and that should do it always remember to balance when you're done um, and don't worry if it takes you longer to balance than it takes me to balance I'm wicked old Last example, um, NH4 plus and Cl minus, Na plus and OH minus, inside 2, outside 2, NaCl and NH4 OH. But NH4 OH is really ammonia and water. Okay? So those are double replacement reactions, and those are kind of all the types that you might see.